Hello everyone, I want to talk about pendulum exercises today. Now, it's not uncommon for a healthcare provider or an orthopedic surgeon to recommend that you do pendulum exercises, especially after you've had shoulder surgery or some sort of a injury to your shoulder where you need to start moving it so it doesn't stiffen up. Unfortunately, too many people don't do pendulum exercises the right way and you can actually cause some irritation to your newly repaired uh, or reconstructed shoulder. So. The way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna do a couple parts of the pendulum and I'll talk about how to get in that position first and then talk about how to actually do it, okay? So typically when you're in a sling in this position right here and you take the sling off, it's safe to let the arm down into this position just like that. And this is a very safe position for your arm to be in when you are ready to do pendulums. Most surgeries don't affect this position. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to put the opposite hand on the corner of a table or maybe a chair. If you don't have that, then you can do it on the edge of your knee, just like this. I always like to start with one single motion first, okay, that makes it a little bit easier. So I have, you put one foot in front of the other, and what you do is you bend your knees and rock your body back and forth like this, and the arm just goes along for the ride. So if I were to stop moving my body, my arm would ultimately come to a stop, okay? So I like to go back and forth like this, probably 10 to 15 times, nice and easy, and then once I come to a stop, I'll put my feet apart like this, and then I'll go in and out. Now this may be a little more uncomfortable, especially when the arm comes out this way, so don't be worried about going too far with this at first. Just get used to doing it the right way. Doing it the right way is much more important than quantity at this point, okay? So you're swinging the legs back and forth, moving the hips back and forth, and the arm is going along for the ride. And then if I were to stop, that arm comes to a stop. You can also do some clockwise circles. Okay, remember the body's doing all of the motion, and if I were to stop, it slowly comes to a stop. You can do the same thing counterclockwise, but notice it all starts with my body, and I am not just standing here moving the arm around. Because when I'm doing this, I'm now starting to move and use those muscles and tissues that were fixed in the shoulder. That can cause a lot of irritation and can be quite uncomfortable. And you can be more uncomfortable doing those pendulums if you don't do them the right way. So I hope you liked today's video and uh, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.